so I thought I would uh, round up um, how things went with uh, the vintage tour. You'll have to excuse me lying in bed like this. Do you know, the last time I did this was, oh gosh, many years ago when I visited Birmingham, in fact, and I had a, a brain fart and halfway through the evening, uh, the night even, I remembered it. And so I was filming uh, <laughs> in bed like this. Anyway, there simply isn't enough uh, time to do it any other way. So, um, on, uh, I actually finished work on the Friday, and, uh, I woke up early on the Saturday, which is quite normal, because usually I, I work on a Saturday, and I start at six in the morning, and, uh, I just wonder if I can zoom out, and, ooh, no, that's, that's, that's a lot worse, isn't it? Anyway, so, I, uh, I am used to getting up early anyway, and obviously I don't have my own personal transport, so uh, my sister Tiffany, who lives the closest to me, um, picked me up uh, with Chris, and they took me uh, the, the the long journey from Harrogate to, to Devon. Now... We left quite early in the morning, and it was quite vital that uh, me and my sisters leave early, because we had to get down to Devon, into the house, and set it all up before uh, my parents arrived with my nan. Uh, the journey was a long one for us. It's quite funny, because um, we decided to go early, and that unfortunately meant that we actually hit uh, the roadworks that there were. It was particularly bad, congested around um, Bristol. And so when we finally arrived, uh, we also, because we were first on the scene, so to speak, and we couldn't get into the house until four o'clock, uh, and we'd arrived a bit early. So we uh, went and did a shop, you know, got the essentials, and uh, we settled ourselves in the pub, and Rosie and Tom, who left, I don't know, about two or three hours after us, arrived in the pub about half an hour after us, so they'd made up that much time. We came back to the house, which is not far from the pub. The pub's called the Hare and Hounds, or Hounds and Hare, one or the other. And it's a little further down the road. Uh, opposite it is a, um, a, a good... Uh, gas station, petrol station with um, a little shop. Now in the other direction is King's Curswell Arch itself and on top of the arch is a co-op and then on the other side of the arch there's uh, another uh, pub called The Sloop and beyond that is um, another petrol station with a little sort of uh, shop attached to it and that was the, that was our local area we were just outside of newton abbott in a place called king's curswell um which i discovered in fact when i needed to use the bus to come back uh on the sunday so anyway uh, we got in after four and we we set up and we decorated uh, we had streamers from the gates, we had hot air balloons, well not hot air balloons, but the helium balloons, we had everything. And uh, of course, sure enough, whoops. <laughs> sure enough, um, my arms are getting tired now. Uh, sure enough, uh, eventually my parents arrived with my nan and uh, we had a lovely time uh, that evening. And then the first part of the week was really, really hot. And the day would usually begin at eight. And by nine, we'd all be having breakfast out on the uh, the terrace if it was nice or inside if it wasn't uh, so nice. Um, we've got a sort of patio at the back, which is nice. Uh, 
everybody's got an ensuite room, there's a sauna, there's several games rooms including table tennis, uh, table football and pool. Uh, there's at least three or four different televisions that you can watch different things on. Uh, so there's quite a lot. Um, and sorry I'm just hearing other people bumbling around don't want to be too loud in case they hear me <laughs> um, so Sunday morning um, we I was taken uh, I, uh, my breakfast consists of two slices of toast a bowl of cereal and two boiled eggs which was nice um, and then we went to uh, I got my father to drop me off in Paynton. Um, I think they went to Torquay, uh, but we all did our own things on Sunday and we didn't do much, you know, it was a sort of day of rest, so to speak. And I walked along at Paynton Pier, which was nice, collected some shells, including one that was like, um, uh, it was a mussel shell that was encrusted with barnacles and I wanted to get these barnacles to open up so I bought them <laughs> I bought them back and I got some salt from downstairs and made some sort of you know uh, brine in my um in the uh, the sink of my ensuite in fact but for these uh, little things these little barnacles they were all dead nothing opened nothing came out overnight um, my favourite bit, I think, was uh, the little eatery, which is um, at the end of the pier. You have to actually go through the arcade to get to the end of the pier, and uh, they have a little eatery, which was lovely. Um, and I just enjoyed myself there, but I had to make my own way home, and I did that by walking across Preston Sands, and then catching the bus, and that's when I had to work out where I was going, what the name of this place was. Um, and what they have is they've got the number 12 bus, and it runs from Newton Abbott through Kings Kurswell and uh, to the north end of Tor Bay at Torquay. And then it sort of goes along the beachfront, and it goes Preston, and then it goes Paynton, and then it goes um, at Goodrington, and then it goes at uh, Churston. And then it swings round to the peninsula on the south side of the bay and ends at Brixham. Now, you can get uh, another one which will go um, from there, or Churston, across to Dartmouth, which is on the bay on the uh, south, south side. Uh, and you can also get another bay at uh, another bus at Torquay and go round the corner on the north side to um, uh, Babacombe and uh, to the other the other place, uh, St Mary Church. And it's all run by stagecoach, so it is slightly expensive. Um, and I think I've somehow pressed this again. I don't know why <laughs> my finger keeps slipping. Anyway, I'm trying to get it in a comfortable position, but there is not, there isn't a comfortable position. So, I am, um, I do apologise. There we are. That's better. Um, so, uh, what else? Um, yeah. So I managed to make my own way back, uh, which was nice. Um, Monday. Monday was my day to host at my nan, so um, after breakfast we uh, took her um, to uh, Living Coasts. Now Living Coasts is um, a marine zoo, uh, so it's got seals, otters, penguins, and that's on top, outdoors on top, with a big sort of net which comprises the aviary and stops the sea seabirds from flying away. Um, and then under that is an, an aquarium. Now, we never got as far... Whoops. Sorry. 
we never got as far as the aquarium, which was fine, um, because my nan, my nan's real passion uh, was to watch the penguins, so that's what we did. And my nan is coming up to 90, which is why we did uh, this. This was her, her 90th um, uh, birthday it, present, if you like. Oh, I completely forgot, in fact, um, Sunday night. <laughs> I do apologise. So Sunday night, um, after I had got myself home, uh, we all dressed up and we went out to a place not too far away from here. Um, and we had a big meal, and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, and that was the reason why we came, really, to uh, to celebrate my nan's uh, 90th birthday, which is happening uh, the first week in July. 